What is alarming is that the new technologies for the first time in human history makes it possible to follow everybody all the time and to gather so much data on every person that you can actually hack human beings. There is a lot of talk about hacking computers, hacking smartphones, bank accounts, but the really big story of our time is the emerging ability to hack human beings. To hack a human being means that you have so much data on that person and so much computing power that you can know that person better than they know themselves. And then you can predict their behavior and manipulate them. You know, dictators throughout history dreamt about having such a power, but they didn't have the technology. Stalin couldn't follow every Soviet citizen 24 hours a day and know what he or she is thinking and feeling. But the 21st century Stalin will be able to do it, and we already have a number of candidates for the job of 21st century Stalin. Yeah. So we have to be very careful about this technology. Yes, I understand what you say. You repeatedly said um, that COVID might not be the biggest challenge of our time, but in hindsight, it might be the moment we took the wrong turn in the data revolution. This is what you mean. Yes, I mean, COVID makes it, it accelerates the process of digitalization and automatization. It legitimizes the deployment of mass surveillance even in democratic countries, and it makes surveillance go under your skin. You know, previously, it was corporations, governments, uh, knowing where you go, what you buy, who you meet. Now with COVID, we are seeing surveillance beginning to go under the skin into the body. They want to know what your body temperature, what your blood pressure. Now, this is just a, a small step, but within 10, 20 years, it could be feasible that, you know, every person wears a biometric bracelet that constantly monitors what's happening inside your body. This can easily stop all epidemics. It can create the best and cheapest healthcare system in history. And it can also be the basis for the worst totalitarian regime that ever existed. Now, I'm not against surveillance technology. I think we need to use it just to do it wisely. That, for example, the new tools should not be given to the police or the army or uh, the government, but to an independent healthcare authority.